Hello guys, it's Maxo Diddley here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your practical exam. Today we're going to be starting to cover length checks. So basically, a length check is where we check the length of the user input, which is basically counting how many characters are in the string, and then we are comparing it to a specific value that it has to be, or checking if it lies within a range of values that it should be. For instance, we could have a password needs to be at least six characters long, and therefore the password has to be six or more to be valid. If it's below six characters long, then it's invalid. Or maybe a member ID has to be 12 characters, and the user inputs a member ID which is 13 characters. So therefore we know it's invalid and incorrect. So today we're going to be covering checking for a specific value, and next time we will check for a certain range of values. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we need to get a string to hold the input. So we're going to do string input, and we're going to make it Jimmy for the sake of this tutorial. Obviously, in your exam, you'd actually have it set to get an input from a text field or something, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. Then we need to create a variable to hold the length which we want the input to be to be valid. So in this case, we're going to do int length equals 5. And currently, Jimmy would be valid as it is five characters. Now we're going to create a method to actually perform the validation, the length check. So we're going to do public static boolean. And we're going to call it length check. And we're going to have two arguments that it will take. So we're going to have string in and int len. We're going to add in our curly brackets. So what does this do? We're creating a boolean method, so it's going to return true or false. We called it length check to be self-identifying documentation. And we have two values which are going to be passed in to the method. String in will take the value of whatever string input is, which in this case is Jimmy. And int len will take the value of int length, which is 5. So basically, currently, we would pass the values of Jimmy, which would take string in, and int len would take the value of 5. Now we're going to have a line of code to actually do the validation. We're going to do return in dot length, curly, not curly brackets, brackets, equals len. And I misspelled return again. Sorry about that. So what does this line of code do? Well, basically, return's just going to be like, okay, send the value of true or false to whatever the method is called. And we're going to get which value it is, either true or false, by using this. So basically, in.length is getting the length of in, which takes the value of string input. So basically, in.len is basically checking the length of input. But we have to refer to in and not input as this method doesn't know what the variable input is and can't we can't just call that in here. We have to use the value which is passed here. So basically we always call what, what's in our brackets. So basically in this case we are basically asking how many characters does Jimmy have? And then we've got equals len. Len is basically the value of length, and the reason why we do len and not length is because we have to pass the value of length into len, which then gets put down here. So basically, we are checking if input, the length of it, is equal to length, but using the variables that we created for this method, which take the values from these variables. It's kind of weird to get your head around, but you will do it, don't worry, guys. Basically, if these two are equal to each other, return true. If they're not equal to each other, return false. For instance, say if our input was 007, Jimmy007, that is clearly eight characters, and that's not equal to five. So we'd pass in the value of Jimmy007 into here, then we'd pass the value of five into here, so then we'll be like, okay, get the length of Jimmy007, which is eight, and compare it to five. Eight does not equal 5, so we're going to return false. Sorry, Jimmy007, there is no place for you in this UK 
Now we are going to create an if statement underneath where we declared our variables to output to the user if it was valid or not. So we're going to do if length check input I can't type today. And then we're going to have our curly brackets. And then we're going to have j option pane dot show message dialog. And we're going to put in null and valid. Then we're going to have an else statement. And we're going to do j option pane dot show message dialog. And it's going to be null. And we'll say in, I can't type, valid. Now we're going to right click on one of the j option panes and we're going to click on fix imports. This basically just imports the library for us so we don't have to bother. Really useful if you can't remember what libraries you need to import. So, what does this code actually do? So basically we got an if statement and then we are calling the method we made here to check for the length. And we are passing the values of input into it and length into it. Which in this case would be Jimmy and 5. So then string in and int length We'll take these two values and then can perform the length check on them and return true or false. So when you when you call a method inside an if statement by itself, this will take the form of either true or false. And if it's true, it will basically just execute this chunk of code. If it's false, it's going to execute this chunk of code. If you don't understand how that works, just bear with me. You don't necessarily need to know how it works, you just need to know how to use it and for all these tutorials you will start to understand how you can take shortcuts instead of having that, that equal true, if I can type true. You could do that, but we're just going to keep it like that this for now. It's basically the same as what I typed there. So that's all, let's test if this works. So this should return valid anytime now. Yes, it returns valid because Jimmy is 5 characters and length is 5 characters. Now we're just going to change it to Jimmy007 to keep the thing going. And it should return invalid. And it says invalid because Jimmy007 is 8 characters and length is 5. Therefore, 8 is not equal to 5. So when it does this method here, it's like, oh, this is false. Therefore, we have to use whatever's left for else, which is to return and print out invalid. So that's all for this tutorial guys, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, if you got any questions then be sure to leave down in the comments below, I'll happily give you a hand, this could be hard to understand the way I've explained it, I don't know. Also be sure to subscribe as I will be posting soon the second half of this tutorial where we're going to look at checking the length for a range. Anyway guys, thanks for being a beautiful audience and we will see you next time.